Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this video, let's do the unboxing and have a first look at this iPhone uh, 12. And uh, I purchased this one in this uh, new green color and it just says iPhone over here. And uh, guys, it's just, it's basically starts with 64 gigabytes, 128 and 256. I opted for the 128 gigabyte variant because I feel that 64 gigabytes can be a little bit crammed because generally iPhones last for about two, three years. So I went with this and uh, the base variant uh, starts at about 80. 000. I opted for this and as you can see uh, this is for 84,900 uh, that's almost about 85,000 yes they, these are pricey in India uh, one thing to note is that I was thinking that these iPhone 12 would be uh, actually assembled in India but sad to see that it says designed by Apple in California but assembled in China so still what we are getting are uh, from the China units uh, anyways let's open this up and uh, yeah we just open this like this and this comes out and just says iPhone uh, over here only at the back you will know that it's iPhone 12 and you'll of course uh, let's open this up and as you can see uh, this is the new color green uh, let me adjust my camera a little bit and yes as you can see it's not very dark green it's actually a very light shade of uh, green I would say very light 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 green uh, in fact uh, outdoors it might look uh, slight creamish so this is the new color that they have let's just take this out also uh, we'll come back to this uh, device later and let's see the accessories yes we very less uh, we just get this charging cable uh, type c to lightning connector and uh, they should have actually go, uh, given us an adapter also because generally the problem is that many of the third party chargers are usb type a but this port is usb type c uh, so again that's what it is and here we get the sim ejector tool and I think so I'll just keep it carefully because we don't know next year this might also be not included and we get some paperwork and uh, we also get some just one Apple sticker so not a lot of stuff and again as you know with these new iPhones uh, no charger in the box and no uh, what do you say earphones uh, that is the uh, wired uh, uh, earphones that you used to get you have to buy them separately if you want now sad but that's the new thing so but the box as you can see it's very very thin now let's just keep that to the side and let's look at this uh, one and uh, to give you an idea i have the older iphone 10r and definitely the older iphone 10r looks more bigger and bulkier though both of them are having a 6.1 inch screen let's see the weight i'm curious the old one was 190 something let's see how much it is did the new one lose some weight this is 192 and the new one significantly lighter at 162 so that's a huge difference in weight i would say so here as you can see uh, this outer shell is aluminium on this one again i have already posted the video of the uh, iphone 12 uh, um, uh, pro series just check that out i'll leave the card over here uh, this one is aluminium and uh, as you can see here we have the power on off pattern and uh, bottom uh, went for the speaker and the lightning connector again these are still the uh, has stereo speakers and here it, it'll have your uh, uh, sim uh, it's a single sim physical sim and second will be eSIM guys no dual sim still uh, on iPhones uh, sold in India so single physical sim and that eSIM uh, your volume rocker and your alert slider over here and uh, front uh, uh, we have a 12 megapixel front facing camera and back if you notice we have two cameras uh, the pro actually has three the fourth is that 3d lidar uh, so two cameras uh, but again these cameras are the same even that we find on the pro it's the same 12 megapixel with f1.6 and the second is that ultra wide and we have a flash and we have the apple logo also so what do you uh, feel about this in the new color uh, let's do one thing guys let's just uh, power this on and still can't get over the weight of this one and by the time it actually boots up and i set it up here is a configuration overview this iphone 12 is having a 6.1 inch oled screen it's a dolby vision uh, certified screen uh, it also has the new ceramic shield coating it is powered by the new powerful apple a14 bionic chip that's on 5 nanometer process uh, it has 4 gigabytes of ram storage will be 64 128 or 256 going to the rear camera it's a dual camera setup uh, both cameras are 12 megapixel uh, the primary is f1.6 uh, with optical image stabilization and the next is ultra wide 
Going to the front facing camera, it's a 12 megapixel. It also has stereo speakers, IP68 uh, uh, water resistance and also supports wireless charging and has a 2815 milliamp hour battery. So guys, I've set up this device. So let's have a closer look at the same now. And uh, again, I have to say the weight, uh, they have done actually a really good job. And uh, it actually looks really nice uh, because of this uh, blocky design compared to the older iPhones, which were rounder, I would say. So this feels actually, though this is having this almost the same size screen, feels more comfortable to uh, in the hand. So I'm liking uh, this uh, one. And again, uh, one more thing is that uh, the glass is almost flush towards that so that that way i would say in terms of in hand feel uh, apple has done a lot better job with this one uh, it feels actually a premium i would say i'm just saying that but again guys this is aluminium maybe you put a tpu case or something because if something scratches aluminium uh, it can get scratched easily uh, the good thing is that this one also the iphone 12 also has the new ceramic shield on the front but again the back is the same glass as uh, iphone 11 it's a gorilla glass but again the front has that new uh, ceramic shield which is a lot more durable uh, again it runs on ios uh, typical i haven't installed anything i just installed the youtube app apart from that i did not install anything just wanted to check the speakers on this one of course it has uh, stereo speakers but I'm just going to say, don't allow notification. Again, I have to sign does. And yesterday I posted the 12 Pro. Yes, the speaker looks to be loud. I'm skipping this ad. Hi guys, this is Ranjit. And in this video, let's do the unboxing and have a first look at this iPhone 360p, 12, uh, 1080p, it and goes. This is it. And it just says iPhone over here. Only at the back it says iPhone uh, 12 Pro. And uh, guys, as usual, uh, the speakers are good guys but what I've noticed is that if you keep it at the maximum volume it was distorting slightly but apart from that uh, it's uh, decent speakers that we have again this has face ID let's see if it works with my glasses and yes it unlocked so again with the glasses also but again mask sometimes it does not work so you've got to be careful uh, now if you go under the hood uh, this is about the phone and as you can see this is the 128 gigabyte variant and you should expect about uh, 112 gigabytes of space that will be available on this uh, 128 gigabyte variant again guys it's an iphone so be careful with the storage the base one is coming with just 64 gigabytes of storage that's for almost 80,000. Uh, but if you spend 5,000 more you get double the storage and i feel this is the sweet spot if you plan to keep this device more than two years because eventually you will fill up that 64 gigabytes that's my frank opinion anyways if you just go back in typical uh, iphone stuff uh, it runs on ios uh, 14 that's the latest one that we have and um, uh, over here if we go uh, we have that alert slider uh, the haptic feedback uh, seems to be actually good on this one and this can actually also go very bright and the big thing is that compared to earlier uh, iPhones, uh, iPhone 11 also, iPhone this one, this is the 10R, uh, th these actually had a LCD screen uh, but this one has an OLED screen. I don't know if my camera is able to capture but definitely uh, it feels a lot more sharper because this was actually a uh, older one was just about slightly higher than 720p but this is actually full hd plus slightly more than that full hd so definitely i can notice side by side this is a lot more sharper so i'm happy that finally apple moved to a oled screen on this one and this is a, actually a good quality oled screen in fact this is dolby uh, vision certified uh, now let's also look at the cameras uh, the it just this one has just two cameras but the biggest thing that you're missing is the zoom uh, and yes, if you use AR, uh, then that uh, Pro series also has the 3D uh, LiDAR uh, sensor. Anyways, let's open this up and, and just, I love using the new quick take video. Tap and hold the shutter to record a quick video, it says. Okay, let's. So again, this is typical uh, interface. This hasn't changed, guys. Uh, so if you just press, it directly moves to the wide angle. So it doesn't go to any zoom. But of course, you can use this pinch to zoom to zoom in. And this is 2x zoom. So it is doing a decent job up to yeah, 2 or 3x. You can go digital zoom. But guys, this is digital zoom. Let's just go back. And uh, if I go over video. Again, uh, iPhones are known uh, to shoot good video. Uh, this also shoots in 4K. So that's nice. Uh, now, if I go over here, let's see how it, this one does the portrait mode. And... Uh, 
it does not zoom in but we still get the lighting effects again i'll take some uh, samples with human faces this uh, lighting effects actually work very well here it's saying me to move further away and stuff. so we have that portrait mode and if you go to the front facing camera here also we have that and again those lighting effects are there just notice my face i hope the camera is able to capture it changes it quite a bit and because of this a14 bionic chip it's very fast so it'll handle uh, everything without any issues and this is the regular and yeah it can go slightly wider if you just press this one also so that's what it is but uh, let me actually take some sample shots so that you have a better idea regarding the camera these were the samples taken with the rear facing camera and it does slightly boost the colors a little bit but i would say it does not look uh, over jarring or unnatural as you can see with the sample shots this was that wide angle uh, lens and uh, now moving to human subject this was the regular shot this was that ultra wide and here i enabled the portrait bokeh mode and here i changed the uh, lighting effects and uh, as you can see you get a good effect this was again regular shot and uh, this was in portrait bokeh mode and uh, this was again a regular shot and this was that portrait bokeh mode now moving to front facing camera this was regular portrait mode but here i played with the lighting effects and as you can see you get uh, very different uh, results even with the front facing camera now moving to artificial lighting conditions here also as you can see it actually did a very good uh, job this is completely artificial lighting conditions one thing i like is that the colors look accurate and the white balance is right just notice the wooden floor so guys uh, that's it for now for the unboxing and first look at this iphone uh, 12 so what do you guys think about this iphone uh, 12 uh, i feel yes in terms of the screen i'm happy that uh, apple is now offering OLED screens finally even on the regular iPhones uh, those were restricted to only the Pro series but I'm saddened that uh, now we don't get the charger and the earphones and I frankly feel uh, this instead of this Type-C charging cable uh, it should have been a Type-A because most of the people actually the chargers that they have already are Type-A chargers and also there is no converter so again uh, be careful about that uh, but uh, yeah that's what uh, we get with the new iPhones uh, so guys uh, what do you feel about the new iPhone 12 let me know I will be doing a full proper review for this one so let me know what do you want me to cover and I'll try to uh, include those points in my full review and I'll also try to test it out in another video maybe and see uh, what is the major difference between the cameras of this one of course the iPhone 10R doesn't have the ultra wide but uh, Yes, I am pretty sure the main camera must have improved, but how much of an improvement is that? So again, stay tuned to my channel and if you guys are still not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Anyways guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care guys.